We did closed cell foam and cellulose on the outside walls. You can kind of see the closed cell foam so thick in some areas where it's sticking out, but we try to get it about an inch thick. After an inch, it's really not doing as much. That first inch is really where you get a lot of bang for your buck, real similar to how your freezer or a cooler is insulated. So you don't need to use too much closed cell foam. So we use an inch of closed cell foam, finish it off with cellulose to meet local building code for our value. Plus we get a better sound deadening. It's a mold inhibitor. It, uh, insects don't like it, many of them. So it gives you some extra benefits too of just meeting our value. Gonna make the house quieter and give you some extra protection, fire, things like that. So cram this in here. Like, hey, here's duct work, but we gotta get this cavity insulated somehow. Here we are, we had to use open cell to ensure we could get foam to get all the way back there in that back corner and get that all good and sealed up. One insulation wouldn't have been good to do this project. We kind of need to do different insulations just because of how tough and how the applications aren't normal. That's why being able to do all insulations really helps you and there's not really a bad insulation out there. There's just certain circumstances where we wouldn't use certain types of insulations. 